In 2008, you guys had a big uh, cholera outbreak, and you guys created songs. When I was down there, you, one thing you guys do, the power of the circle. Right? You it was teaching kids how to make candles for homes that don't have electricity or electricity goes out. Cheap way to make it. You were teaching kids how to make uh, floor wax because the, 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 the mothers wax the floors almost daily and a cheap way to do that so they can benefit their family. But you created three songs about the uh, cholera outbreak. And out of your 7,500 kids, not one kid got it. And that has been one of the biggest parts of your charities, both HIV and AIDS awareness, and then later uh, other diseases that have come along, right? Yeah, we, we do very innovative education. We use what is um, very natural to you know, a lot of these African kids, which is, is movement, dancing, and music. And our, our life skills team there helps to create new songs and um, little activities that help kids to, you know, we, I don't think any kid is going to listen to fear-based lecturing. You know, we get kids up and moving, singing and dancing um, and using examples. Um, you know, when it comes to HIV, they're dribbling around chairs that will, that will mimic the virus because ultimately we want these kids to be able to identify that's the the self-awareness knowing the challenges within your own community whether it's you know the gang that's over there or the the shabin that's on that side of how to get home safely um cholera knowing that you have to wash your hands um and and stay safe and and you know for 25 years we've been doing um disease awareness and so when COVID hit, this became very natural for us to be able to just, it's an extension, it's just the next challenge for these children and, and our team to be able to, to help educate through very creative, um, interactive ways um, to help kids think and, and make the right decision in the face of these things.